Our first guest is one of my faves of all time. He's successful, he's got a mean swagger, and he's not afraid to say it like he means it. Give it up for everyone's favorite boardroom billionaire, the one and only Donald Trump. <laughs> My faves. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Congra I love you too. Thank you. A lot. Congratula <laughs> congratulations on the success of Celebrity Apprentice. Okay. It just got picked up for another season. Nice. So, you know I love the show. I love Celebrity Apprentice and I love Regular Apprentice. Right. But without Regular Apprentice, we would have never gotten to know people like Omarosa That's and true. Bill Rancic. That's true. Are we ever going to go back to Regular? Well, you know, a lot of people ask that question. and. We really, I love it. It became the number one show on television, and we did discover Amorosa. Yeah. You know the amazing thing about Wendy? You and her were really at it for we a while. We were. I remember you told me she'll never, I'll, I won't ever talk. But she just said, We sort of sat like next friends, to each yeah? other at the Sex in the City movie, remember? And that's yeah. when we talked about it. But you know what? You were not a big fan at one point, but I think you are now. I'm a woman, and I'm yeah. allowed to change my mind. You we've changed we've made up. That's very good. I, I so, like Omarosa. So it is possible that that happens. I must tell you, from my standpoint, I sort of love what we're doing. You know, so many of the celebrities, everybody wants to go, we must turn down five for everyone we take in terms really? of the celebrity. Because it's been so good for the career. You know, the hardest one was first Celebrity Apprentice because they didn't want to be fired. Right. And then with Joan and with the tremendous success of the people, Piers Morgan, you know, everybody that was on, not just the winners, because Trace came in second and he became the biggest country singer. Mm -hmm. And, Omarosa's you know, never won. And Omarosa's never won. And look at Omarosa. Exactly. She's doing quite well. So, you know, it's it's something we would think about. But I love, just personally, I love going and seeing these people that I've seen all my life and saying, you're fired. <laughs> right? That's an but ego could, thing. Could, yeah, that's more <laughs> ego. I think that's more ego. Than it. But it could happen. A lot of people have asked for it. So, you know, this past season um, was really riveting. And, you know, the, the question that a lot of people have is, why did you fire some of the most entertaining people early, like Latoya Jackson great question. and Omarosa? It's a great question. The show does well because I'm honest. If I wanted to be an entertainer, and you know, I have to, uh, when they deserve to be fired, I have to fire them. I've had many cases where I didn't want to fire somebody from an entertainment standpoint, yes. but if I don't do it, it's not going to be the right thing. I have to do the right thing. I like and that. And sometimes, I mean, you know, sometimes I fire people. I would have loved to have kept Dennis Rodman longer. Yes. But it was, like, impossible. If I would have done that, I would have taken tremendous heat. You know, one uh, person that was so popular, and I took a lot of heat for this one, firing Little John. Uh, people love Little John. They loved him. And so do I, by the way. I just saw him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have to do what's right, and entertainment has to be second. But a lot of times for entertainment, I wish I didn't have to do that. Yeah. But I think the credibility that I've built up for the show, it's what makes it successful, ultimately. But yes. it's, it's hard. It's hard. The show is addictive. It really is. So, um, one of the more interesting things that happened this past season was when LaToya accused Omarosa of killing Michael Clark Duncan, Tough. her fiance, her fiance. Tough. And it all kind of went down here on our show, from your show, where Omarosa called Latoya lie Toya, and then there was a lawsuit that Omarosa was threatening. Um, how was that behind the scenes? Well, I can tell you it was rough, and they really disliked each other. But Omarosa was very rough with Latoya, and I love Omarosa, as you know. Yes. People said, "Is she really as bad as that?" I said, "Actually, she's worth worse." But, <laughs> but you know what? No, no. <laughs> But we love her. Do we all love Omarosa in a sort of crazy way? And you know, look, hey, she gives good TV. She was with me when we became the number one show on television. Yep. So what am I going to say? I don't like her. I mean, she's great. Yeah. But I will say, she treated Latoya very, very tough during the show. Well, she treated t Star Jones. She uh, treated rough probably also. everybody. But everybody. but she treated him rough. And now they're, I guess, in some kind of a dispute. So you tell me what's happening with that. Dispute. Okay. Because you all know, right. once they get fired, I say the hell. Right. Right. And that's where I pick up the rest so of the tell story. Me what happened? Okay. So, um, Omarosa 
was supposed to be sending legal papers to serve for the lawsuit to uh, LaToya. LaToya came to the show and said she never received anything, so I guess that was just Omarosa talking and everybody's gone their separate ways and neither still likes one another, according to what LaToya told us. Well, it was tough stuff. I mean, there's it no was. question about it, but what so, are you gonna do? And, well, it was also tough on Brett Michaels, but I have to say I agreed with you. Um, Brett Michaels was the first one fired in this season's Celebrity Apprentice. Um, and he said that he needed, after you fired him, to sit down and have a man-to-man -man chat with you. Do you do that? Well, I did. Look, first of all, I really like him a lot. Yeah. But I think you and I probably, for the same reason, we have a certain number of winners. It's very hard to win. We'll have 16 people, 14 people, all of them are celebrities. Right. And, you know, the other ones all agreed, and I, you know, the offer was made. They all agreed to sit on my side of the table, like Piers and Joan, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So they sat with Ivanka, and they'd be the advisor, and... They were kings and queens, right? Because right. they had won. Uh -huh. Brett didn't want to do that. He wanted to go back on the show. And I said, you have to be kidding. And over the years, I'm a big fighter, a big fight fan. And I've seen these champions, these great champions, and they retire and everybody loves them. And then about two years later, they, they say, I want to come back. And they get their ass kicked. Right, right. right. And so their legacy is at, failure as opposed a, to winning. I mean, how many people like that do we know? And I said, you don't really want to do this. But he did want to do it. Now. In all fairness to him, he wanted to do it because he wanted to raise money for his charity. So that's okay. I get it. But I still think he shouldn't have done it. And Me I was too. a little angry, and I fired him number one. And he, you know, he took it hard. Well, he's a good guy. He's going to he's actually be here guy. next Wednesday. He's been here before on the show, but I don't think that Brett should have been on the uh, firing side of the table. He should have been a king. Well, I, uh, you know, when I first also. stood there, I said, I can't believe you did this. I can't believe, do you think I can? Now, look, from a human standpoint, and I said, I always do what's right, but do you think I can really say you win again no in all fairness no i've got 14 celebrities of course he won now i'm gonna let him win again no of course all right so let's move along to pen Gillette and trace atkins two great guys who um does it come down to who raises the most money and we've talked about this before well it's an advantage and you know uh, i'll tell you what uh, trace has now won over a million dollars just on the regular shows for charity all going to charity right and Penn has done really well. I mean, they're both great players. I would say that that's certainly an element, but not all the time. I mean, I've had winners and all the way where they didn't raise as much money, but they were better leaders, better whatever. So there are a lot of things. Money is one of the things. Now, in this case, you know, it used to go to you. Now it goes to charity, charity. which is great. That's another thing, by the way, I like about the celebrity. The money raised goes to goes charity. Goes to charity. One more thing before we go into a break. Um, you can't talk to Donald Trump without talking about his, um, his Twitter wars. And you are to the point now where you don't just fight with celebrities. You fight with John Q. Public. And you, you, just, you just get at him. I, that is so entertaining to the rest of us. Well, you know, I've got millions of followers. By the way, at real Donald Trump. I love it. It's crazy. It's like eating peanuts. No, it's true. You have the same thing. Yeah, but I don't say call people losers and no, no, stuff. No, no, I, I go at them. You're so... No, no. <laughs> and I, I'm sure you probably have this, too, but the level of hatred is Out. unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, the things... You have the worst bum, 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 bum hair. You are, you, are the, you are the most unattractive human being I've ever... You know, stuff... No, no, it's true. Eh, don't and then that. he gets right back at him, which is very oh, no, I hit him back. Uh, Listen, up next, everybody, you're going to get free advice from Donald Trump in a special edition of Ask Wendy yeah. and the Donald. Yeah. It is time for a special edition of Ask Wendy and the Donald. So how can we help? How you doing, how Wendy you and Mr. Trump? How are you? I'm Judy, and I'm married to a wonderful man, but he's a golfaholic. Oh. He's very, very good. Oh but I'd like him to spend just a little bit less time on the course and more time with me. Now, okay. Donald, you're a golfer. And I'm an expert on this subject. Okay. <laughs> Let him play golf. Tell him I love I do. you. Does he make a good living? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let him play golf. He does. Tell him to enjoy himself. You love him. Don't take him off the golf course, because otherwise he may have to fly the coop. I doubt it, but he may fly the coop. Let him play. Encourage him. Don't do that. I've seen too many wives when I've seen it. Right. They say, oh, you're playing golf, you're playing golf. Guess what? One day they go home, he's not there. When they oh, take, when you, when you take him out of a habit that he really loves, he might turn on you like a wild dog. But you know what I would suggest? <laughs> Does he play like at a club where there's a clubhouse? Yes. Oh, Can yes. you get a cute golf outfit and maybe drive the, drive I the golf? I do golf. All right. Well, I do. You might not golf on his level, oh, so no. he, might wanna, he might not want to play with her. But you just let him play and tell him to enjoy himself, and he's going to love you even more. I'm telling you. Okay. There you go.
Thank you, Judy. Thank you. Okay, we've got our next person. Have a seat, Judy. Thanks, Judy. Ju Judy's still laughing. <laughs> Judy, take each of our advice and, and figure something out in between, you know? All How right. you doing? How you doing? I like your classy necklace. Did you win that here? No, I did. Oh, oh. actually, I saw it on the show. Yeah, we gave those away. I did, and I was jealous I wasn't here, but I went online and oh, got one. Okay, good. <laughs> so go ahead. Okay, hi, Mr. Trump. How are you? I work really long hours. And my boyfriend is starting to think that I may be cheating on him. Oh, Whoa, How are you? Are you cheating? I am not okay. Donald. <laughs> How do I assure him that when I'm at work, I'm actually doing work and not someone else? <laughs> now, Donald, I'm gonna let you answer first. And your wife is a businesswoman, so I'm well, sure she works late sometimes as well. But I think if he has that in the back of his mind, I mean, do you love him that much? Absolutely. Can you live without him? No, I cannot. Because you know, if he him. has that now in the back of his mind, it's that only could get... be trouble. Oh. It's only going to get worse. For the future, I'm saying. How okay. long have you been with him? Twelve years. And how old are you? Thirty-two. And why boyfriend? He's not. Yeah, you know... exactly. It's another show. Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, here, here's what I would suggest. You tell him that, that you're working late and he better not, to prove his point, try to roll up at the job and do something <laughs> embarrassing like where is she, where is she, or cruise the parking lot. Okay. If he can't take your word for it, then you know what, after 12 years, maybe this is not the guy for you. Mm -hmm. And if we have to have another show on why it is you want to get married and he hasn't <laughs> married you, then maybe they need to break and, up. And you know what, I'm looking at you, you will have no trouble getting oh. guys. Oh. Okay. Oh. okay, we have to, uh, thank you, have a seat. We have time for one more quick question. Hi, How Sassy. How are you doing, Wendy? Hello, doing? Mr. Trump. Nice seeing you. I've been working in construction for 11 years, and when I find a potential guy and I tell them what I do, I think they get a little intimidated, and now I'm considering keeping it from them until they get to know me. No. Do you think that's no, a good idea? No, I wouldn't do that. No, no, you should be proud of it. And you know, I build a lot of things, lots of buildings. Yes, you probably I do. have heard that. Uh -huh. And more and more, I see more and more women doing jobs that you would have never seen 20 years ago, and they're making a lot of money. Yes. Who are these Neanderthals that you're dealing with? It. Be proud of what you, you do. Never lie about it, and you keep dating until you find a guy who's going to accept it. Who are these stupid men? <laughs> Good luck, sister. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Everybody, you. that is Ask Wendy of the Donald. Thank you so much, Thank Donald, for you. being here again. Okay, so. You guys, make sure that you tune in to the live finale of All Star Celebrity Apprentice. It's Sunday night at nine on NBC.